So now, what to do with your seeds? Well, just choose one seed, and I'd like you to put that in some water, drop it in the water, and we're gonna leave it there overnight to see what happens then, and we're gonna break it open to see what's inside it. So just put that somewhere safe. But the other thing I want you to do is to get a clear container. Now, it could be a jar like this one, it could be a glass, it could be a plastic cup just so it's clear so you can see on the outside of it. Then get some paper towel, it doesn't have to be any special paper towel. We want to cut a bit of paper towel so it's inside that jar. So I'm going to get some about that length, okay, about that height. Then that's going to sit inside your jar about like that. So the next thing is to pour a bit of water at the bottom of that, not too much just a little bit, and then move that water around so that the water gradually soaks up onto the edge of the paper towel. And before long, you'll find the paper towel is all wet and it's sticking to the outside. And that's what we want it to be doing. And then I want you to choose maybe three. I'm gonna choose some of the smaller ones and just open it out a little bit and plop one in. Now you'll see that seed has gone about halfway down and that's what we want. We don't want it right down the bottom because if it sits in the water, it will just rot off and go smelly. So about a third of the way around, we'll try another one. There we go. If your seed drops to the bottom accidentally, it might be worth pulling out all out and starting again because we don't want the seeds to be down the bottom. Don't be afraid to ask a parent for a little bit of help to get that started. So what happens with that is the water down the bottom is going to seep up, it's called capillary action, and it's gonna keep the seed moist, a bit wet all the time. So you don't want that to run out of water. If it runs out of water, then it's not the right conditions for that seed to grow. Because to see a seed, needs to be able to eat, breathe, grow, reproduce, and respond. You see, flowers and plants do an amazing thing. They make their own food through sunlight, through a process called photosynthesis. So plants are pretty amazing things. And you know, a seed, it can grow without much food to start with because there's food, nutrition, inside the seed for it to survive until it gets leaves, and then the sunlight can help turn things into food. So that's option one, and you, can, and you can even write a little name beside each seed if you want to, to watch them grow, because we're going to do a diary, what the growth looks like after a few days, after a week, and so on in the life of these seeds.